It's all gone dark and murky. It's like that Queen promo cover they did, when you can only see one side of everyone's face. Oh. Oh. Listen, Cambridge Police, if you want to make any more fucking arses out of yourself and disgrace your own fucking chief constable on the phone, recorded live, please fucking feel free. I was waiting for it. I was fucking waiting for it. You couldn't let it lie, could you? You had to have me in court for your made up fucking, what was it? Malicious communication malarkey. Malicious communication malarkey. <laughs> Organised personally by your chief constable. Uh, uh, but the summons is correct because we've got an arrest warrant. Have you really? Have you got an arrest warrant off of an illegal summons? Ah, me. That's fucking amazing. It's not fucking law, but that's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing, I tell you. I haven't seen the summons, but I know it's correct. Well, how do you know it's correct if you haven't seen the summons? <laughs> And why were you sitting 50 yards from my house for 10 minutes, 20 minutes max? And then you drove off. And then you phoned me. <laughs> Not really fucking ringing true, is it, chaps? Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. So. Sorry, I'm slightly hyper. It's one of those weekends. What did I prove last weekend? There's something about the bailiffs, I think. Bailiffs couldn't open an email attachment. <laughs> Um, oh no, that was Wednesday. I proved something else last I can't remember what it was. Probably the Cambridge Police, who by the way have blocked me on Twitter. Why would the police block you on Twitter for fuck's sake? <laughs> Probably the Cambridge Police who are acting completely illegally and have blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> Fuck, I can't remember. I was so fucking hyper because I was going to take Monday off. Fuck knows why. That's the extent it's reached. I can't, I can't even remember why you were breaking the law. I just, I just remember that you were. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Listen, guys, do you think I'd ever come home if I really had anything to be worried about, I don't have to. I could get my job for Monday on a Friday, and I could go to the job, and I could sit outside the fucking job all weekend in fucking Leicester, or fucking Birmingham, or fucking Manchester, or wherever the fuck it was. I wouldn't have to come home. I could text my mate and go, when you remember, mate, water the plant, feed the birds, do, do the cleaning, Don't have to fucking come home, you carrots. I do. Because I like home. I miss home. So I come home to do my washing. And then you sit aside my house for 20 minutes and then fuck off and then film me. What's up, Doc? <coughs> oh, 
what the fuck is up with that shit? That I come into the kitchen and I see a fucking police van sitting outside and then I go away and then I come back and then the police van's gone and then I get a fucking phone call from PC fucking Dibble who's in charge of Top Cat. We get a warrant for your arrest. Have you fucking really? You fucking dicks. Well, why didn't you knock on the fucking door then? You stupid bastards. Fucking hell. What a bunch of fucking dicks. Cambridge Police, ladies and gentlemen, the only police force in the world where the chief constable can have a personal vendetta against the member of the public for exposing fucking corruption in the local fucking council. 25 years of theft from the public purse. Ongoing because they never legalised charging for trading licences. I hope this is getting out to the fucking traders in Huntingdon Shire. Which, by the way, doesn't fucking exist because they made it up again to get a seat for John Major so he, as he could be fucking Prime Minister. Hunting industry used to exist. It was all fucking Oliver Cromwell shit. Right, and then they scrapped it. And then they reinvented it. And they changed the boundaries. I've covered this before. And it was all so John Major could get a seat as an MP. Because they'd lined him up to be the next Prime Minister. He'd already not won two elections in London. I mean, what fucking organisation, as I've covered before, in the world, lines up a two-time failure <laughs> to be their boss? <laughs> Got some compromising pictures of you, have they, John? I tried to think doing what? Jesus. Well, Edwina Curry might be able to answer that. <laughs> I'm giving up. Um, for fuck's sake. What was the point again? Oh, yes. Police van sitting 50 yards down the road from my house disappears. Then they phone me up. How bizarre. Hi, Tom.